everyone this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house today I just wanted to show you um, some projects that I'm working on today and these are actually chalkboard um, signs that I made and I'm gonna give them to some people um, as part of their Christmas presents and I'm gonna show you how I did these now I got this idea from watching Mindy Laban. She has a really nice YouTube channel. It's um, go to Wendy, I'm sorry, MindyLaban.com. She has some really great um, ideas. And this is one of the ideas that I saw that I um, saw on her channel. And I kind of um, adapted it with some different ornaments that I had. And you know, it's a really good idea. It's very inexpensive. So if you had like a group of people that you wanted to give this to along with something more expensive, this would be great because um, everything here is from the Dollar Tree except for the chalk paint and the chalk paint I already had on hand and it was a spray chalk paint and the um, like for this one or for instance the flower was um, from the Dollar Tree it was beginning of the holiday season and I saw those they're like burlap and they have um, gold um, glitter on them and so I got a, um, two bunches of those and they were like I said they were a dollar and on the bun on each bunch it was like three or four flowers on there and then the ribbon also came from the Dollar Tree so I had like a roll a roll of the gold ribbon here and it's wire ribbon so you know this is I showed you this in my last video you know you can kind of maneuver the wire um, for the design in your ribbon and then the platter here is one of the silver platters that are in Dollar Tree and they come in like this rectangular shape there's a um, oval shape and I need to get a couple of oval shapes the ones that I have right now or just a rectangle and so this one right here same thing this ribbon is some old ribbon that I had from Michaels and it was remnants of that. I always keep like remnants of old ribbon or whatever because you never know when you need it. That is one of the ornaments that I showed you um, on my last video and that came from the Dollar Tree and then another tray. Now the Dollar Tree also has like the plate stands so I'm gonna get the plate stands to go with this and I'm gonna wrap it up in some of the cellophane wrap and I'm gonna put some more things with it like some chalk and um, maybe like a um, Bath and Body Works um, candle or something like that. I really hadn't put everything together. This was the first um, project for my um, gifts. So next I'm going to show you how easily this is to make. Okay, so right here is the silver pan and it is I um, taped it with the painters tape around the side so you can see it's the painters tape and once I paint it around the edges here I just I'm sorry I taped around the edges I just spray painted the chalk paint for the center of our um, chalkboard here so I let this sit outside and it's a windy today so it dried very quickly so once it dried the first coat I sprayed a second coat over it and let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and this is the final result so next thing we're going to do now is we're going to gently remove the tape and I suggest moving removing the tape in an angle let me see if I can kind of difficult with one hand let me start here and then you can see well that's not the bottom okay, okay right like here okay now starting right here you're going to remove it in an angle so it'll lift everything cleanly right here okay so now I'm going to remove the rest of the tape and then we'll continue okay so now we've taken all of the painters tape off 
and there you're going to have some imperfections around here and that's okay what you can do is in the top of the paint cap spray a little bit of the paint in there and then with a small um a thin paint brush or you can try to do it with a small sponge brush you can touch up the edge just like right here this needs to be touched up and it's just mainly really here and a, probably a little bit right here so I'll go back and do that later so what I'm going to do is since this side is better I'm going to work with this side and I'll go back and touch up that area right there so what you're going to need now is you're going to need your embellishments so you're going to need right here I have some a pick right here that I don't know it was an old from something I don't know I just keep I keep everything so um, just a old Christmas pick this is another one of the ornaments um, that I got from the Dollar Tree and then here's some ribbon right here I just tied this in a bow because it's, I can't do it with one hand and basically I just formed my bow on both ends and had the ribbon hanging on both ends and then in the middle up from one of the ends I cut a piece and I maneuvered it let's say if I cut that much off I would just see once it's cut off from the side that the wire is on I roll it and you roll it against it's so difficult but I'm trying to get at least one roll that you can kind of see what I did. Now this isn't perfect, but I just want you to see. So basically, it'll look something like this. When and you remember you cut it, and then that's the part that's going to form the middle here that attaches that holds your bow together. You're going to glue that, and then you have this piece right here in the back okay so let's see what we'll decide to do and actually I'm gonna cut this long piece off right here because I may decide to just um, attach the ribbon here like I did for here and as you see these have the little bells on it I took the bells out there's a little hole right here and you can just slide the wire out and you can detach the bells from here and so I just used one bell right there okay so let's see how we can do this so for example here first let me um let me clip some of this ribbon here and in the end I'll um, if I decide to use the bow I'll clip it at an angle but I want this to be as straight mm, as possible okay well let's we're just gonna go for it and I will fix it later okay so now that we have that so now we have different things that we can work with and um, so for example if I decided to use the deer again and for the tie the ribbon on the deer I just ruched up the ribbon in the middle as you can see here once again this isn't going to be perfect because I'm working with one hand and okay you know what I didn't like the way that was roost so let's try it one more time right here and of course we would cut it down so we could do something like that I don't know how I like that or we can just use the bell 
I'm sorry, the bow, and then put some embellishments on it. Let's see. So what if we took some of the green, because it's on here, some greenery, there's some berries, there's a little silver leaf there, and let's see. So what if we utilize those in here? That's pretty. That's very pretty. So let's see. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit. But you get the gist of it. So if we did something like that. That would be very pretty. And we will cut. Of course we will cut the ribbon and ruche it up a little bit. think I really like that so um this is it so we will just glue everything down we will glue our ribbon here not and glue it so that this part right here can't be seen so if you cut you can cut it if you want to I will probably leave it and because I'm gonna need it to anchor down whatever I decide to use and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that greenery right there with the silver embellishments I think I really like that so um, I'm going to show you the final results and that's it so the only thing you would need after everything is together is um, your plate stand and your chalk and you're ready to go so this is a, um, a pretty quick video I think it's one of the quickest videos I've done and I just wanted to show you something real quick, real easy. It will be a really nice gift, a great hostess gift, I think. And um, I think it's very classy. Thank you, Mindy Laven, for the idea. And I want to thank all of my YouTube subscribers for subscribing to my channel once again. And um, as I always say, whenever you're in town, you can always come by Winnie's house. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.